Well, a juicy detail has emerged from an email read during court testimony in London. A former resident of 10 Downing Street advised Rebecca Brooks on how to handle the phone hacking scandal. Brooks, the former editor of the tabloid News of the World, is fighting conspiracy charges. Atika Schubert is tracking this trial from CNN London. She joins us now. Atika. Well, let's start with that memo that you mentioned. Basically, this was mentioned in court last week, but uh, an actual copy of the memo was released to the press today. And this is a memo from Tony Blair, uh, excuse me, from uh, Rebecca Brooks to James Murdoch. Uh, and in it, Rebecca Brooks details a conversation she had with former Prime Minister Tony Blair, where she asked for his advice on dealing with the phone hacking crisis. And in this memo, he advises her to set up uh, a, an inquiry uh, with credible officials and also says that he would be willing to be an advisor uh, to the Murdochs on this case, but that it had to be kept between them. Now, the reason that the prosecution put out this this e this memo as part of their evidence was to show the state of mind of Rebecca Brooks. Remember, she's facing four charges, one for conspiracy of phone hacking, another for conspiracy to bribe uh, public officials, and two for conspiracy of hiding uh, evidence from a police investigation. And so according to prosecutors, this memo shows her state of mind, that she was sort of acknowledging the phone hacking happening within the newsroom and seeking a way uh, to, to get on on top of it. Uh, now, we haven't heard from Rebecca Brooks herself. She was expected to take the stand today, but it now appears that because of uh, legal reasons, they're going to push it until tomorrow. And that is what the first time we will actually hear the defense speak uh, for Rebecca Brooks. Well, that will be much anticipated. Um, how long is this trial expected to continue? Well, expect it to go until at least May, and it started in October. So if you think of it this way, we've really only reached the halfway point. We've been hearing entirely from the prosecution, which has mapped out a lot of evidence uh, alleging that ha phone hacking in particular was widespread in the newsrooms of The Sun and the news of the world. Uh, and now we're going to hear from the defense, and we really haven't had much guidance or clues as to what exactly Rebecca Brooks's defense will be. But remember, she's not charged specifically with just phone hacking, but conspiracy. And this is a much more difficult charge to prove uh, because it means you're really looking into the state of mind uh, of the of the person facing those charges.